Thank you for tuning in to this NCA action from the Four City Flickers 2024 tournament in London, Ontario. This is sure to be a doozy. To your left, we have Connor Ryman, who got to this semifinal matchup by defeating Andrew Hutchinson. On your right, we have Justin Slater, who made his way here by defeating Ray Beerling. These two are two of the sharpest shooters in the NCA right now, so this is sure to be an incredible battle. Connor Ryman first to act and comes up short, uncharacteristic. Let's see what Slater's able to do with this opportunity. I don't even think he was going for the 20, but uh, also didn't secure the off. As you can see, these two are also good friends as well as competitors. Not that good of friends as Ryman slams a follow through 20 in order to take an early lead in the 20 race. Ryman content to play defense at this point, trying to keep it back. Ooh. Keep it back between the pegs and his side, and Slater almost turned that into a 20. Slater likely to go for a follow-through at this point, being down a 20, needing to even things up in the 20 cup. Good power, a little off on the angle, and he may have left Ryman an opportunity. Ooh, unable to convert. Now the opportunity over to Slater, who does convert. 1-1 one, one in the 20 cup. Let's start over. Ryman finds his range. Slater comes up a little short and leaves a backboard. Ryman makes him pay. Oh, leaving the door open just to crack. If he's able to secure the off in the 20, he will tie this first round. Ah, a little short. Seeing a nice follow through 20 there and then just a simple takeout 20 from Slater. Sure to be lots of great shots out of both of these competitors. Slater a little off, goes long. Ryman content to pull things back to his side a little bit. See if he goes for this. Hmm, looks like he's opting for defense. May have pushed that in a little further. Let's see if Slater's able to... Oh... It was there, just a little too much oomph. It's a technical term. Oh! So close, so many times there's been a lot of, wow, not what we're accustomed to seeing out of these two. Look at that, they do fit. Slater won nothing in the 20 cup. Now Ryman finds his range. Slater a little long. See, Ryman goes for the roll away. Puts a little too much on it. One button each. Ryman needs the 20 to secure a tie. Giving Ryman a three to one lead in this race to nine. Ryman first act and comes up short. Now he finds his range. Not only, not only are these two some of the best shooters, it, uh, based on this I'd say they're some of the fastest shooters. There is not a lot of thought and deliberation put into these shots, but also a fairly simple Fairly simple match to this point. Slater with a commanding four to one lead. He has already secured the win in this round. Last few shots inconsequential. Slater first act as they're knotted up three points each in this race to nine. Slater runs it a little long. Oh, I don't think that's what he was after, but he will still put that in his 20 cup. Ryman on the right side of the 20s race here. 
as he has the hammer. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the quarterfinal action. There we have three quarterfinal matches. Unfortunately, one of the uh, the footage from one of the matches got uh, somehow lost. Technology is awesome when it works. Perfect round from Connor Ryman, all eight twenties. Ryman first act. Players clearly have found the range at this point. Commentators jinx. As soon as I say that, Ryman comes uh, is a little off on his 20 offering. See if he's able, yeah. Back between the pegs. Slater likely just to play defense, given that he has the hammer. See if Ryman pushes for the follow through 20. May have just been trying to push in a little bit on that one, just to that one clearly going for it. Great weight, little off. Slater's heading the way. This time they're tied up in the 20s cup and uh, Slater on the right side of this, given that he has the hammer. He goes up 3-2. All Ryman can do is hope that Slater misses. Last shot inconsequential. Slater very careful count before he troughs his disc. 5-5. Five, five. Not surprising that these two are uh, back and forth battle here. Slater a little long. Let's see what Ryman does with this. Yeah, pulls it off to the side a little bit. Doesn't leave Slater great opportunities, and that's not good. That will probably open the door for Ryman to get the off and pull back behind the pegs, just like that. Forcing Slater to shoot through the pegs, and he's going to be looking for a peel. Swing and a miss. Almost looked like Ryman contemplated troughing his button, but I wouldn't count on Justin Slater missing that shot twice. So he went for the 20. Got himself a nice lead at this point. He's up a 20. He's up two 20s with the hammer. Got a pretty good choke hold on this round. Right there. Nail in the coffin. Insult to injury with a follow through 20. This here probably the best shot of the round. Securing that 20, using the peg to pull back a little bit and in a great position as you saw Slater miss and required the second shot at it to, to get it out of there and force play back to the middle. Ryman up 7-5 in this race to nine. Oh, I'd like to see that in slow motion. I think that black disc was in and out. All right, Ryman against the hammer, but he's up a 20 and sits two discs on. Not sure what the intent was there. The players have a bit of a chuckle about it. I, uh, I'm really not sure if he was going, if he was trying to catch the one in the 15 or. There he goes. Drains that 20. Does not get the off, but at least it's over on his side. Except when Ryman does that. That, uh, that sucks some of the fun out of it. And Ryman's a bit of a killjoy sometimes when you sit across the board from him. <laughs> Doesn't want to play on that side. Peels. Slater thinks about whether he might be able to bring that play back in. Ops to peel, force play back to the middle. If he's able to secure this off in the 20, he will be back in this round, tied up 2-2, each with one button. And he gets it. What a great shot. Makes that shot while having a side conversation about Pokemon Go cards, I believe that was. 
another tied round. What a comeback from Slater. He was on the wrong side of this round and slowly worked his way back into a tie. Ryman up 8 6 in this race to 9. Oh, wow. The Super Steve. And Ryman goes long. There's been some fantastic shots and there's been some uncharacteristic misses here. It's, uh, yeah, you never know what you're going to get. Nice follow through 20 and the off. Comes up short this time. Hey, Ryman, yeah, wasn't even going for the drop back. He just wanted to get away from the hole, which he did. Slater trying to pull things back closer to the hole to have something to work with, but he may not have wanted to go quite that close. Although Ryman doesn't seem to love the offering. All Ryman needs is a single point to secure the win. As he's up 8-6. That was not what he was looking for. Door open for Slater. Wow. What a great bounce back shot that was. Tied up 2-2 in the cup. Slater comes up short. Ryman taking an extra second. These two shoot really fast and then they are veteran enough to take that extra second for important shots like that one. Slater, or sorry, Ryman knew just how important that shot was. He is in a very good position. Two shots left. He's extremely good. Even if uh, Slater made that shot, all he'd have to do for the win was make a valid shot. Great battle from these two. So many highlights, so many surprises. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, please like, comment, share, subscribe, because there's more action coming at you. The finals will be coming out soon, as well as the third place match. Thanks for tuning in and make it a fantastic day.